Hey guys, it's Allison, and I'm here with a craft space tour. Um, my space is really tiny because we live in a tiny house, but I just found out, or we just found out that we're moving, so I want to do this before we move. It's not completely the way that I would perfectly like it to be, but for now, this is as good as I have it. So I will show you what I have. So the desk I use is from Ikea, and it's part of the Expedit series, as well as the bookshelf here. Is an expedit bookshelf. I know now they have like something else, but this was what um, they had when I bought this or when we bought this. So um, under the desk, I mostly have. Oh, I have this chair also from IKEA. It's I don't know what it's called, but it was like twenty bucks. So under the desk, I have this printer, and then I have books, and then I have over here. There's a finished smash book some old or kind of like art journal-y things and some listers got a list and then the rest of here is just books um, and then I have an extension cord <laughs> and then so on top of my desk I also have a painting from winners I think for home sense but on top of my desk I have a this is that basket I bought from winners and in here I just have all my stamping stuff I have some more ink but I have it with my mixed media stuff because most of it's distress inks but I just have some wood stamps. Um, most of these are like Amy Tangerine. Um, I think I got them from like Home Sense. And then I have, I don't know where that's from. This one's Hero Arts. And then I have a Memento ink. And I just got this. It's a Brilliance ink. So I don't know. I've been told you can use this stamping on photos. So I'm going to try because, yeah. Um, I want to. So yeah. Um, and then these are the stamps. I have and then this is my stamp block I need to get a new one because that one's really big and flat but yeah I don't have very many stamps because I'm not that into stamping but yeah so in this um, this is a little uh, bucket this is the brand I don't know if that matters I just got it at like Canadian Tire but I think it was like a dollar and in here I just have all my like dimensional small stickers so I have puffy stickers and enamel dots and anything like that um, mostly just that some brads if I have brads we don't really have very many and yeah that's all those I have and then here I just have this was a vase um, my mother-in-law gave me with some flowers in it when I had my son and it's just super cute so now I'm using it for my Stadler pens or Stadler however you say it and then this one's just a mug I got at the thrift store and I have all my other pens my one Copic marker <laughs> my scissors I finally did get fussy cutting scissors. You guys have probably seen them. These are the American Crafts ones. But yeah, I got them at Winners. Um, and then X-Acto knife. Yeah. And then this <laughs> is my filming setup. Um, my husband made me this. And then we just attached a selfie stick to it with some zip ties. So that's where I put my phone. Um, it's kind of top heavy when I put my phone in it. So I have both my traveler's notebooks, which I'm not really using. But they're in here. And then in order for it to be straight, I have it on my son's baby book my awesome setup there um and then I just keep my corner rounder my stapler my adhesive and my glasses on here and then in here I will show you at the end but it's just like random things I didn't really know where to put so I will show you what's in there after I show you the rest the tour um over here I have like a little sensey thing my lamp I have a I have the photos that I want to scrap. They're in this iris container. I have my Amy Tangerine, the newest one, embellishments, and then the Dear Lizzie ones. I just like to keep them together for a little bit before I split them by color. Um, just to use them on threads together. And then I have my twine because I don't have very much in this baby food container that I just like took the label off of. You can see this on the back, but I just turned it around and I put a little bow of twine on it. My roller date stamps are in here. It's getting pretty full. I do have one more coming, so I think I might have to rethink this once that comes. And then I just, this is like a little notepad that came with one of them that I don't really know what to do with. And then the, for the rest, I just keep the little, I just cut the back of the packaging off with the stuff it says on them. At some point, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to color code them, but for now, I only have four. And this one's just a date stamp, so I didn't keep it for that, but these ones actually have phrases. So I remember for now, but I'm pretty sure at some point, I'm going to have to color code them. So then on my shelves, I'll show you the top first. This is the top that I have here. So over here, um, I have my 6x6 paper pads. This is all the ones I have. Um, I'm going to need to get something else soon because it's getting pretty full. And then I have one by 4 and a half by 6 and a half. 
And then I have some, like a little notepad, some sticky adhesive paper, and then I have traveler's notebook inserts, um, which I'm not really doing that right now, but I have them anyway. <laughs> and then this is my newest organizational thing. I got it from Amazon. I'll link it below. I don't, I think it's by Cropper Hopper and it's just like one of those paper things. So for those of you who think I have a lot of scrapbooking stuff, <laughs> this is literally all my paper like right here. But, um, cause some people have so much. I don't have that much. Um, so here, um, I just have page protectors. I have an extra like Ziploc, a 12 by 12 Ziploc bag thing. Page protectors for Project Life. These are more of them. They're just a, a baggie full of them. And then I have my two 12 by 12 stencils, the Dear Lizzie one, and I have the Jen Hadfield one. And then I have, in this one, I have all my 12 by 12 paper pads. I have like six or seven, I think. Um, and then in here, these are all my 12 by 12 papers right here. Some of them I need to get rid of. But, um, and then... I have 12 by 12 white cardstock, and then I have my 12 by 12 car or chipboard sticker things from Crate Paper. So that's all my paper that's full. And then this is my scraps. It's very full and <laughs> needs to be organized. <laughs> um, and then over here, this is where all my mixed media stuff is. I will show you that at the end as well, what's in there. And then on top here, I have... Um, just packaging to do the packaging technique. I have a photo album where I keep photos sometimes that I don't know if I want to scrap them or not. I just put them in there. I have this album, which came with, I think it's from We Are Memory Keepers. Um, it came with like one of those sets. Um, I'm going to use it, we're going to Toronto next month, so I'm going to use it as a mini album for that trip. So it comes with some page protectors, but then I also bought some of the Heidi Swap ones from Michaels. So I have extra. And then some of the Heidi Swap ones also came with like gold foil things in them. So hopefully that's enough. If not, we're moving to a place with a Michaels so I can get more. So that's everything that's on the top of there. I'll show you the overview. And then over here is just all my albums. Um, I'm definitely going to need to get another album very quickly here, probably within the next month or so. So that will probably change. Um, and then over here, this is stuff for giveaways. I am planning to do a giveaway at some point soon. It's just once I get enough stuff, plus after we've moved and all of that. Um, my paper trimmer, um, and then I just have some of my Laurel Lane's designs cards in there. And then I have this Project Life um, holiday edition. I just don't want to break it up because then it'll be harder to find when I'm looking for it. So I, I don't know. At some point I probably will put it in with the rest of my cards, but not yet. Um, and then I have this box, which is, I will show you at the end, is full of my um, four by six cards and my four by four cards. This I just bought from Target um, like a while ago because Target's closed in Canada now. So, and then I have all my four or three by four cards in here. This is a close to my heart medium organizer. I used to have all my cards in there, but they've ex expanded beyond that. So, yeah. And then down here, I just have some Cape Bay paper clips. And then these are all of my stickers. So in the back, I want to organize this better, but right now, this is what I have. From here back is all my stickers. I keep them in the, I just cut page protectors. Um, and then I use the fuse. I was doing the thing where you use the pointy fuse tip, but what I was finding was that they were coming like unglued on the edge because you use it and it cuts and seals at the same time, but it doesn't seal that well. So what I started doing after, so you can see I re refused it here with the normal fuse thing. So what I started doing after is just cutting it with my paper trimmer and just fusing it with the normal thing, which is, just, it's like an extra step, but it's not that big of a deal. And I just do it whenever I get two packs of new thickers. So right now I just have one, so it's still in its original packaging, but once I get another one, then I will do it. I just don't want to lose the other half of the sheet. I also have like two of these, the like clear sticker things, which are just in with my thickers. And then from here, I have all my tiny word stickers and my little alphabets. Very organized, I know. Um, and then the rest here is just smaller stickers or stickers I only have like one or two left of that I've cut up. Um, washi strips, stuff like that. There's some rub-ons and then these are my 6x12 sticker sheets. And this little thing is from Ikea. It's from the children's section. It has a number on it. <laughs> I just flip that back so you can't see it. Um, it's just like a little fabric thing. <laughs> 
And then um, here back here on the other side of this, these are all my embellishments, um, or sorry, all my ephemera. So I do have the majority of my ephemera is just in these iris containers. Um, I got them from Canadian Tire just because we don't have a Michaels in our town. So yeah, um, and they're done by color. But then if I have more like this one and this one, this is blue and I think this one's gold and I have a bigger one for pink too. They're just those. This brand, um, also from Canadian Tire. This bat one down here is from Target, but obviously we don't have Target anymore. So yeah, I just use those to separate my ephemera. I also have one in there for wood veneer and one for photo overlays. In here is where I keep, um, there's my planner, planner stickers, planner stickers. Here's all my washi. And then this drawer is mostly adhesives and like other random things. And then I have another glue here. So that's everything on my desk. I will show you guys the inside of this box and my mixed media box. And then we will be done. I will be back in a moment. So this is the inside of my mixed media box. I just have some credit cards in there that are old that don't work anymore. Um, and then it's pretty much a mess. Um, at some point I do plan to organize this, but yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't have a lot of mixed media stuff either, so it's not really that big of a deal, but yeah, this is my box. Um, it's from the dollar store. But yeah, so that's all the stuff that's in there, just like watercolors, gelato, I have my sprays, some makeup pads, gesso, texture paste, more sprays, some ink, some more ink, uh, I have an India ink for splattering and like paintbrushes and stuff. It's pretty messy, but I don't have a lot right now, so it's fine for right now. This is the last box. Um, it's just I don't know, I think I got it from Walmart or something. So in here is just like random stuff that doesn't really have a home elsewhere. So in here is just like bigger things, mostly like doilies, and then there's like one random scrap of paper, some ribbon that's really old, mostly just doilies, and then like if you get a giant piece of ephemera it'll go in here. <laughs> That's a really old one, but yeah, like giant pieces of ephemera as well and some paint chips. So yeah, that's that. And then I have my sequins. These are all from the dollar store. I haven't bought any like expensive sequins. If I do, I'm sure I'll separate them, but right now it is a dollar store sequins, so it's not really a big deal to me that they're in a big mush. <laughs> um, I have some tissue paper, coffee filters for embossing things. I have my my fuse is in here. This is a little pencil case I got from the Target dollar spot when Canada had Target. It's super cute and I love it and I love that it fits the fuse. So just my fuse and my ruler and this is also supposed to be in there but I guess it escaped. So um, the lid came off. Sorry if this is super shaky. I don't have like a nice tripod to film standing up things from. Um, so this lid keeps coming off like this which is very annoying. Um, okay, so then I have a dryer sheet for embossing, some more coffee filters, <laughs> I have one of my, like, few punches, I have a heart punch, Martha Stewart, and then this is another corner rounder that's really crappy, um, but I don't know, I'm keeping it because I paid for it. It was only $3 on clearance at Walmart, but if you ever think about getting this corner rounder, do not get it, it is so bad. Um, and then I have my heat gun, um, which is the Martha Stewart one. And I have some tickets, I guess. Some ticket ephemeral that I didn't know was in here. Some more. Um, and then I just have my embossing stuff. So I have my ink for it. Which the lid keeps coming off of this, which is annoying. I also have a random doily. And then I have my three embossing powders. I have uh, white. I have clear, I believe. This one's clear. Yeah, clear. And I have gold tinsel. And just regular metallic gold. And that is everything. So, um, sorry if this was super shaky. Now my desk is a super big mess. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe and comment if you have any questions. And I'm hoping to do another one of these once we move and I have like a new setup or whatever. I'm sure it'll probably be pretty similar to this, but maybe I'll have like a little bit more room or something, which would be sweet. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!